All right, this is the final part, guys. I have 17, about 17 napkins into my phone. I'm going to upload this, take my shower, and I'm going to walk to the store and get my beer and my smokes. I'll be seated. Yeah, this paycheck I might get my dress, guys. I have enough money. Um, I'm gonna find a uh, a salon in in, in in Quebec. I don't want to go the one I used to go to in Ottawa. It's too far. They moved, and their office is very their 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 their, their what their location is far now in Ottawa. They used to be like near downtown Ottawa. Now they're far far further away in Ottawa. I'm not going there anymore. It's too far. And so I'll find another salon. To go to in, uh, in, in, in Hull. Elmer doesn't have any salons that do dress. I can find one in Elmer to do dress for me. If not, I have to find one in Hull or Hull or Gatineau. I'll find one in Hull. I'll go to a one in, uh, a salon in Hull. I'll have him do my dreads. I have no mayor. Is going back to getting his dreads. No more fro. He's like, oh my god, Ivan, you're getting your dreads. Yeah, I'm getting my dreads. I had my fro for a good year, almost a year, and like. Eight months now. I cut my hair in early January last year, early 2022. We're now going into August. We're almost eight months into the year. Time flies by fast. We're almost done 2023, guys. It's crazy, huh? Yeah, we're going into August 2023. Um, what? I'm gonna get my dreads done. So by the end of the year, my dreads will be like medium size, maybe up to my my ear, a bit past my ear, my dreads. You know what I'm saying? When I show my face one time next year, you're going to see me with my dreads. Oh my God, Ivan got his dreads again. Yeah, I got my dreads again. But this time, I'm going to take care of my dreads. Every three months, I get my dreads done. They told me you have to wait two, two to three months. Don't wait any longer than three months, they told me, for your dreads. Because your, 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 the roots on your hair, they grow. You have to get it touched up every three three months when you have dreads. Otherwise, your, your dreads will start to fall off. The roots grow on top of your dreads, and your hair grows on all over your on top of your dreads. Yeah, your hair pretty much germinates if you don't get it retouched, and your your dreads start falling off. You have to cut it. Hence why you have to get it retouched every every three months. Your dreads. Now, having dreads, you have to maintain it. Well, you have to get it done every three months. Your dreads, which I'm going to be serious this time. Every three months, I get my dreads touched up. I make an appointment, I get it touched up every three months. And my dreads end up being super long, obviously. Yeah. You like medium sized dreads, Ivan, or long dreads? I like long ones better, but I don't I don't like it too 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 long. Like maybe like my they're unique, I like that. That's that's that that's 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 the perfect size. I like it that long, but anything longer than that it's a bit too long. I don't want it to be too too long. The way the, the way my dreads are looking there, unique. I like I like that 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 long like that. That's good enough. And the moment it starts growing more, I'll just take scissors and cut it. Cut a little bit of my dreads. That way, it's, it's not too too long. Obviously. I'm also gonna lose the weight. I mean, I know I've been eating junk food for the past three weeks, but I'm gonna go back to the board on a treadmill, eating healthier food and lose the weight. Get down to 235. I lose the weight, obviously. Obviously. Throw two minutes on my phone, guys. Yeah, she rejected you, Ivan. Yeah, unfortunately, she did. She rejected my ass, man. Yep. I gave her the warning, man. If you reject me, man, and you crush my that, I'll never ask her number ever again. I, I gave her the warning. And if she's pissed off that I'm not giving you attention anymore, it's because you fucking rejected me. You told me you don't do dates. So you're expecting me to ask you for your number again, ask you out to dinner again when you told me you don't do dates. Unless she's lying. She's like, I, I don't do dates, Ivan. I'm like, okay. 
then why uh, you're, you're seriously expecting me to, 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 to why I actually want to do it again and have me get rejected two times in a row no man I don't want to get two, rejected two, uh, two times in a row it's going to crush me that's why I'm not asking for a number ever again I'm saying that I don't know why bullshit always happens live in America I remember when I wrote on VJ's wall VJ never liked my comment one time she didn't even like it man like why like wh what the fuck is going on here I don't get it, man. Ivan O'Meara, like, always has bad luck with fucking women. I don't get it. I write on VJ's wall. Cyan makes a comment. She likes his comment. I make a comment. She doesn't like my comment. I'm like, what the fuck did I do to you, Victoria Justice? I'm your fucking husband. And you can't even like my fucking comment. Oh, I mean, it's because I see hell. So because you see hell, you, you, you won't like my comment. Are you fucking kidding me? And it's your fault? Yeah. Yeah, she rejected me, man. So I have three options, guys. Either I pursue the, the redhead, obviously. I pursue the redhead, obviously. Chances are it's not going to happen because she told me she doesn't do dates. I don't want to get rejected two times in a row. So chances are the second option and the third option going to happen. I'm going to go for another chick at Coco Fruity, or I'm going to look elsewhere in Elmer. Obviously. And I know, I know. I know how to play. I know how to play mind games with women too. Obviously, obviously. I know if I go for another chick, either at Coco Fruity or somewhere else now, where I will, I will get the redhead's attention. If she likes me, if she doesn't like me, she won't give a shit. Obviously, if she likes me, but she's playing this game with me, she's hiding her feelings from me, right? Then I will get her attention by going for another chick in Elmer. I will get. I'll grab her attention. I told you, any chick I date, they're going to post pictures of me and her together, guaranteed. They want to brag. If they see me with another chick, I'm going to get the redhead's attention, obviously. I'll get her attention. And she'll, I don't know, she starts flirting with me, with me more at work. You know what I'm saying? She starts flirting with me more at work and that kind of stuff. Yeah, she shows signs that she likes me. And I'm like, look, man, if you want me to get your number now again, you got to really, really show that you like me, man. And then... You got to make a move and show that you like me. Otherwise, I'm never asking you never ever again. Because you told me that you don't do dates. And so I'm not, I'm never asking you want to date ever again. It's your fucking loss, man. Yeah, man. So I'm saying, Yeah. Obviously. So are the employees who really think she's crazy? <laughs> of course they do. <laughs> they obviously think she's crazy. What the fuck is wrong with this chick? She rejected Ivan? <laughs> Does she not know who this man is? This man's the son of God, man. He created you. You rejected him? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> they think she's crazy, obviously. Man. The world thinks she's crazy, obviously. What the fuck's wrong with this chick? She rejected Ivan? Ivan's the son of God, man. He's the most handsome man in the world, man. You rejected Ivan? Ivan O'Mara, you rejected him? Yeah, who do you think you are to reject Ivan O'Mara? Yeah, man. Obviously. Obviously. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah.
some Zyre. Yeah, I see you're saying, yeah. I have about six minutes of my phone, but six and a half minutes of my phone around there. Yeah. Obviously. So, Ivan, mean, that's how you get your attention. Yes. I'm talking to all you. You guys already know. All you attractive men in the world, you guys all know this. Let's say, for example, if a chick asks you on a date. Let's say you ask a hot chick on a date and she rejects. I'm talking to you attractive men. A pretty attractive and attractive men around the world. Let's say you ask a chick on a date and she says no. Um, chances are, if the guy is attractive and he asks an attractive chick on a date and she says no, chances are she likes him, but she's playing a game with him. She wants him to chase her and she wants, she's playing mind games with the guy. You want to get the chick's attention, pick up a chick to rub in her face and you'll guarantee you're going to get the chick's attention. Guaranteed. Because women like bad boys. Let's see. With me, it's even crazier because... The redhead knows if I end up going for another chick at Koku Fudu or another chick in Elmer, when I hang out with her, everyone in Elmer will be staring. She's going to post pictures of me and her together. It's worldwide news, and the redhead will finally feel it. Oh my god, I never should have played this game with Ivan. Ivan, Ivan, Ivan crushed me, yeah? You don't want to play games. I'm talking to you. You don't want to play games with Ivan O'Mara, man. Ivan O'Mara will beat you every time with the mind games. Don't play mind games with Ivan O'Mara. I'm fucking god. You can't do god. You don't hate me, you know what I'm saying? I will beat you every single time with the mind games. The world thought they can dupe me by by playing this game with me and have me lock all doors on me, act like me and my wife, cause the rest of my life. I end up, I'll end up winning the game if you want to play this mind game with me. Yeah, don't play mind games with Ivan Romero. I will crush you and I'll humiliate you. You know how Sam Shmoon always says, I will crush you, I'll humiliate you. I'm going to humiliate you and crush you if you play your mind games with Ivan Romero. You know how to play mind games with Ivan Romero. Yeah. Obviously. What do you think? Uh, yeah, so all you attractive men around the world, even though I'm the last person to give advice, you guys have way more experience than me. I'm the last person to give you advice. All you attractive men in the world or pretty attractive men in the world who asked a, a hot chick on a date and they said no, chances are the chick likes you, but she's playing a game with you. She, she rejects you to make herself feel good about herself and she wants to play mind games with you and wants you, wants you to chase her or something like that. Sometimes, right? Yeah. You want to get her attention, pick up another chick to rub in her face. If you want to get her attention. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for another chick at Hogan 40 or go for another chick at Almore to rub in the redhead's face because she pisses me off. Alright, well she know that, you're, that, that, that you and her, the chick are dating? She'll probably have an idea because I have the keys. And if I date another chick at 40 or in Elmer, they're going to post pictures of me and her, her together. And the redhead, I have the keys, I'll tune in the, the whole world, the redhead will know. She will know, obviously, some Sarah. And I'll grab her attention. And she will, and she will, if she likes me, she'll regret, oh my god, what have I done? I should have said yes, man. I, this chick, I even asked a chick on a date, she's feeling on top of all of them. I said no to that, yeah, you did. And now she'll regret it, and, I, and now she'll start flirting with you more, and she shows more interest in me. You know, and she regrets what she did, obviously. Yeah. You're a lost man. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. It's her loss. I mean, who would you go for in Elmer? Um, I don't know. I don't know any girls in Elmer. In Elmer. <laughs> yeah. The only one I can think of is the bartender at at uh, at, uh, at, 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 at the Elmer bar. By she has a boyfriend. Well, she's out. She's off limits. Yeah. But I could I could go one day. I might bust to Dinty's. I might go to Dinty's. I might talk to some some of the waitresses there. 
obviously. And I might maybe check out St. Hubert's, talk to some of the witches. I might do that. Go to St. Hubert's, go to Denty's, talk to some of the, the waitresses there. Go there at least a couple times every month. That way I get familiar and eventually I'll ask one of those chicks on, on a date. On a date, I'll get their number down. Hopefully I don't get rejected, obviously. The rub in the redhead's face, she pisses me off. Yeah, man. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Anyways, if this video, I have like a minute left on my phone. Is if this video, I hope you guys enjoyed this show. I'm going to upload it. You guys will enjoy this show with me. I'm going to take my shower. I'm going to walk to the store and get my beer and my smokes. I'll come back and enjoy the show with you guys. It's Ivan Amir. I'm signing out. Peace. Stay tuned. I might make another video tonight. Later on today, in the, in, the, in the evening, I'll talk about Sky Source and Peter Jackson and Mel Gibson. And my amazing Last Wednesday's movie project I'm going to make. Obviously. When I start my Sky Source company with VJ. Anyways, here's the video. I don't know. I'm going to talk to you later soon, guys. Bye. Peace. Take care.